This is an instructional video on how to access the databases we will be using in this course. Before addressing the databases, we need to look at why we're going to use them and what we're going to use them for. So first, why do we use the databases? Isn't the Google search engine good enough? If you plan on going to college, your professors will expect you to find documents that support your arguments. If those articles come from blogs or other less than professional sources, the professor will most likely reject your sources and you'll have to start over. Instead of quoting the bloggers' opinion of Shakespeare, you'll want to access the virtual database library to find articles by people whose life work it is having an opinion on Shakespeare. Next, you might ask, what are the databases? The databases are a collection of hundreds of thousands of articles. Most databases are specialized, which we will come to momentarily. Our particular interest in the databases is that we are on hunt for relevant scholarly literary criticism. Now, what is <clears throat> literary criticism? LitCrit for short is any article or essay that is considered an examination of thinking as related to literature or an examination of literature from various perspectives, including, but not limited to, genre, era, gender, history, theme, and so on. You can think of LitCrit as a sort of slow motion debate between authors, scholars, and students over the last 600 years or even more. Now, you'll want to go to lhub.lisd.net. This is the LISD Learning Hub, the same place you use to log into Canvas. You'll be prompted to sign in using the same username and password that you use to log into Canvas. Log in and you'll be redirected to the Learning Hub homepage. In the site navigation panel is a link to the Research and CTE links page. Select that link. Once you reach the research links page, you will select the option bookmarks for research secondary. When you select that option, you may receive a notification that you're using a pop-up blocker. Simply select continue to access the next page. On the next page, you will be prompted to verify your student account. You must use your LISD student Gmail address to proceed farther. That email address will probably be your last name, dot first name, at go.lisd.net. There may be a number included after your name prior to the at sign. If you are unsure of your LISD Gmail address, please check your school email for a message with that information. The message will have come from virtual learning prior to the start of the course. Once you type in your Gmail account and select Next, you will reach the Bookmarks for Research secondary homepage you must scroll down. When you find the Gale resources block, note that the password for this resource is learn. Then select the Gale Cengage learning button to proceed. When you reach the Louisville ISD all Gale resources page, scroll all the way down. Select the Gale literary sources button. From here, you will be redirected to the InfoTrack login page. Because I'm already logged in, you will not see that page in this presentation. However, when you reach that page, you will type in the Learn password and select the option to log in. When you reach the Gale Literary Sources homepage, select the Advanced button. Always use the Advanced Search so that you have more control over your search. You should update the More Options panel to reflect that you only want full text documents and peer reviewed journals. For content type, you should select um, Literature Criticism. For language, select English, even if you speak another language, because your instructor will expect the entire essay to be in English. You'll have to type in some keywords in order to start your search. I recommend changing the drop down menus next to each line to keyword, but you can also play with this menu to see what other kinds of search terms you can use. Once you've typed in some search options, select search to go to your results. 
Now, when I first searched these two keywords, proofrock and isolation, I got no results. So I came back to my advanced search and made some adjustments. I click search again, and this time I got some hits. We're starting out with 25 articles, which is actually pretty good. Sometimes you'll end up with hundreds of results and have to narrow them down significantly. To narrow your search, you should use the limit search by block. Here, you can narrow your search by subject, um, document type, and variety of other ways. Additionally, you can just browse through what is in the original search results without narrowing your options. Let's look at an article. By selecting show source citation, we get the MLA citation for this article. Any article you use, you want to save that citation and document what you took from it because you'll have to build a works cited page. You can also download the PDF, which is nice if you want to save the article and not have to navigate to it again later. The abstract will give you a summary of the article. Then you can read the full article uh, below that. Notice that our search terms are highlighted in red throughout. You can also quickly search an article, use the Control F or Command F key combo to do a quick find. Hitting enter will cycle through all the instance of your search word in the article. This video will always be available to you on my YouTube channel. You will need to find literary criticism throughout the rest of the semester, so familiarize yourself with the Literary Resource Center database.